Hello everyone, my name is Claire Jones and I offer systemized business solutions to arts organizations and small business builders so that they can grow and scale their businesses without burning out. And this is the next video in a series where I go over a lot of the various tips, tools, and strategies that I use both in my own business as well as in my clients' businesses. And today I thought I would go over websites. Websites tend to be a very... Um, vague, very unknown kind of uh, discomfort zone for small business owners because they're afraid that they're going to break something. They're afraid that it's going to be way too complicated for them. But I'm here to show you that it doesn't really have to be that complicated. And there's a lot of softwares and platforms out there that will kind of do the work for you. And as long as you know where to go and what button to press, it's going to be pretty easy. So this is a service that I offer for a lot of people when they're focusing on their marketing strategies because I want to make sure that their websites are optimized and set up in a way that doesn't cause customers and visitors to bounce off their sites without buying something from them or inquiring about their services or anything like that. So this is usually where I start on Green Geeks. If I'm building the website from the ground up or transferring a website, GoDaddy, I've heard um, not great things about it so far. And the dashboard is a little confusing and it doesn't offer as easy access as I feel like Green Geeks does. And I particularly like Green Geeks as well because they are a carbon neutral company. And so that's why they're called Green Geeks. And they actually have a setup system directly with WordPress. And so it's very easy to set up a very simple website hosted through Green Geeks. That's where you buy the domain and then set up your website through WordPress. And so I'm kind of going to go through how to do that from the ground up. And this is pretty basic. So you start on their website, you know, get started now, see our plans. You can also see um, the WordPress hosting down here. You can also do reseller hosting and VPS hosting, but that's a little more complicated. I recommend sticking with the WordPress. And you can just scroll through, see what they offer. They offer a lot. They offer a lot of support as well. So it's really easy to get in contact with the support people too. It's basically a chat format through your dashboard. And they have always been super helpful whenever I've reached out to them and have solved my problems within a couple minutes. So highly recommend them. So for WordPress hosting, it starts from $2.95 a month and that's super cheap. And when you get it, you get a website, you get one click WordPress install, you get unlimited web space, unlimited data transfer, a free domain name for the first year, you get a free SSL card. And so that means your site is secure. So if you are collecting people's payment information, if you're collecting their medical information, you definitely want to have an SSL certificate on your site. And you can tell which sites have SSL and which sites don't because of this HTTPS at the beginning of the URL up here. If it's HTTPS, that means that it's secure. If it's HTTP, that means it's unsecure. And so you can tell who has SSL certificates and who doesn't. And certain programs will require you to have SSL certification if you are collecting payment information, for example. And so that comes included with your light um, package for $2.95 a month and standard performance, yada, yada, yada. So they also give you different options for paying for it. So I'm just going to make up a domain. Let's do Seattle Smiles. Let's see if it's available. So you type whatever you want your domain to be in, check the availability. It's not available. So maybe Seattle smiles a lot. Let's try that. <laughs> and you can do .com, .net, .org, .us, .info, and .biz. So check availability. 
All right, that one is available. And so this is where you sign in and create your account information, email address, first name, last name, business name, street address, yada, yada, yada. And then the package information here at the bottom, you can see you can do three years at $2.95 a month. You can do two years at $3.95 a month, yearly at $4.95 or monthly at $9.95. I recommend getting the three years because you're gonna want your website for that long anyway. And you have your server location in the United States. You get a coupon code automatically applied. The setup fee is included. The registration fee is included. And you get a domain who is privacy as well. And so that is part of the domain registration, super important. And then you put your payment information in. So that's basically it. I'm, um, I had a th thought a minute ago when it came to oh email addresses. Email addresses are automatically included through this as well. And so you can set those up via the dashboard. And so once you sign up for a site, you get your login information, it goes to your website or your email address, and then you want to install WordPress. And so when you install WordPress, you go to the dashboard on your Green Geeks and you go specifically to the C panel, which is a really really easy to access from your dashboard. There's a button either on the front page of the dashboard or you can access it through um, the um, left side menu. And so you go to the C panel and then you look up soft app, soft Aculus apps installer and you install the WordPress and it will take you to this page on the soft Aculus platform and it has a bunch of different um, applications that you can install but we're just worried about WordPress at the moment and so you hit install now and you'll choose whether your site uses SSL protocols or not and that's HTTP versus HTTPS and then the basic site settings like what you want your WordPress logins to be stuff like that, your admin accounts, stuff like that, admin email address, choose your language. If you have any plugins that you wanna do that already you know of, that's where you select them. And then you select the theme. And so you just hit install after you go through that. And then it will basically install your website. So it will analyze your information and the settings while installing the WordPress onto your website. And after installation is complete, it will give you a couple of links so that you can go log into your WordPress account. And then if you wanna have any additional plugins, stuff like that, that's where you can um, access that, but we're not gonna go over that today. And so when we're talking about themes in the WordPress or on any site in general, there is a recommended website layout format when you are creating the theme or creating the layout of your website. And this is based on Google I studies. And so the I, when most people go to a website, tracks in a predictable format. And so you can see here the hot squares are where the I goes automatically. So it's more in these top left areas and middle left areas. Um, and then the cold areas are normally where ads are located. And so we've learned to not look in those areas essentially. So if you have a call to action or if you wanna have something particularly catch the visitor's attention, put them in the hot areas. And this is where the primary content, and then always have a navigation bar, always have a page footer and stuff like that. So this is the basic layout for a website and how it's recommended. And you can see these in eye tracking studies. You can see where the eye goes when they visit websites. And so generally we recommend an F or an E um, set up here because that's how the eye reads, especially when it comes to English, because we go from left to right when we're reading English. And you can see that in here, there's generally a E or an F format here. And so when you're looking at themes, you go to your WordPress dashboard and you go over to the left side over here, hit appearance. And this is where you can select the theme that you want. And each year they 
create a 2020, 2019, 2018 basic theme for that year. And these are the free themes, so you don't even need to pay for them. And these just, you can just plug in place. And so it's kind of already set up for you and you can change it if you want. You can move things around, stuff like that. But this is basically what the 2020 theme looks like. And then they have a Bistro Light one. This is just another theme that you could use. This is if you're having more of like lists on your homepage and if you want sidebars on your homepage as well. They have an easy one. Um, this is more of like a blog format. So you can go and scroll through the themes, see which ones you like. I personally like the 2019 one just because it's easy to use and it has a lot of the features that I look for. But this is, I mean, they all have various pros and cons to them. So just choose the ones that you like and focus on those F or those E layouts and think about where the eye goes in those eye tracking studies. And so once you choose one, you would install it and then start moving things around. Um, and so this is basically if you have a basic website, if you're not trying to do e-commerce, you can do e-commerce through WordPress. They use WooCommerce plugins for that. Um, but if you are looking for more in-depth reporting and tools for e-commerce, I recommend using Shopify. And Shopify will actually register your domain for you as well. So you don't even need to go through Green Geeks. You can buy your domain through Shopify. And the basic pricing, I think, is around $30 a month. And this is where you can get all of the inventory management if you're having physical products, stuff like that. You can have marketing um, integrations with it. You can have a POS system with it. So you can take a card swiper with you if you are moving around, going to different events, or if you have a brick and mortar, you can set up a POS system for that inside the store. You can have various marketing materials and marketing um, integrations and Facebook ads, Google ads, stuff like that integrated into it. And then you also have these awesome reports that show up. And there's a lot of different reports that you can look up and you can create invoices through Shopify as well. And there's just all kinds of different functionalities. And I just really like the support and I really like the reports that they give you on the back end. So that's kind of why I prefer Shopify as the e-commerce platform, but um, let's see what the pricing looks like. Yeah. So basic Shopify, $29 a month, um, next level, $79 a month, and the next level is $299 a month. And as you can see here, you have an online store, you have unlimited products, you can have various staff accounts. So if you have multiple people working, you can have two on the first one, five on the second one, and 15 on the third one. 24-hour support. They have great support networks as well, and they have a lot of blogs that you can access if you want to DIY it yourself. Sales channels. They have marketplaces on online, social media, and um, as well in person with those POS systems, the point of sale systems that I was talking about before. They have manual order creation. Those are basically invoices. You also can add discount codes if you want to add discount codes. Again, this also offers the free SSL certificate, and they have abandoned cart recovery on all of them. And then if you also want to do gift cards, that's on the second and the third level. Professional reports, second and third. They have basic reports on the first level, but you can get more advanced reports on the higher levels. Um you can do print shipping labels. They automatically calculate it for you based on the size and the weight. They have shipping discounts for USPS, UPS, or DHL. They have Shopify payments, so you don't have to have a separate payment processor. With um, WordPress, I believe you do have to have a separate payment processor installed, but with Shopify, it's all in one. And so the payment processing fee actually goes down based on the um, subscription that you have. So credit card rate rates are around 2.9% 2 
2.6 and 2.4. And then in person is 2.7, 2.5 and 2.4. And that's pretty comparable to most payment processors. I believe PayPal, I want to say is around 2.7, I believe. So um, there's just a lot of different options that are already all included in Shopify. And again, with the point of sale, you can have the Shopify POS app um, and you can get the free, um, I have one of these, it's a free little um, card swiper. And so you can use this to process payments when you are on the go. I'll show you, it just pops out and you can connect it to um, your phone through Bluetooth. And so it's super easy if you're doing a um, pop-up store or a festival or a farmer's market or um, exhibitor booth somewhere, that kind of stuff. Um, and again, there's different third-party POS apps and store locations that you can get with the um, higher level plans. So if you're more in concerned with e-commerce and retailing, Shopify is definitely a preferred platform. Or if you don't want to do anything yourself and you don't want to DIY anything, I highly recommend using Cosmetal um, Rocket Sites. And so this is an all-in-one web design service. And what I love about them is that you pay a monthly fee for a 18-month um, contract. And so most web designers will make you pay a lump sum up front, anywhere from $1,500 to $10,000, depending on how complicated the website is. Whereas Cosmetal will charge you a monthly fee for an 18 month contract. And so depending on how complicated your website is, is based on what the fee looks like. And so as you can see here, you choose the site that best serves your needs. And then one of the reps will reach out to you, talk about layout options, gather images and materials, and then they will create a mock-up site for you, and then they will do periodic maintenance for you for the 18-month contract. And so their basic site program is $50 a month for the 18-month, and so if I do the math on that, hold on, I'm going to pull up a 15 times, or... 50 times 18. So that's basically $900 for a fully functioning website. And most website designers are going to charge you a minimum of $1,500. So this is actually going to be a discount if you don't want to do anything yourself. And then for the eShop, which is the e-commerce, that's $880 a month for 18 months. Again, $1,400. So again, you're saving money here, essentially, but with all of the background support and stuff like that. And so this is the basic over here includes SSL certificates, no hassle support, content generation and image selection, basically everything for you, as well as Rocket Site Plus is going to be for e-commerce. And that means you can sell directly through your site, accept various forms of payment and create site branded invoices, product catalogs, coupon codes, stuff like that. And then they have a updated one if you want to have additional functionality. So this is in a good thing for people who have coaching sites or membership sites that they need to have a separate login for their clients, something that's only content that's only for specific members. If you want an event calendar, if you want subscriptions, memberships, if you're a realtor and you need integrated MLS search cap 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 blah, 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 capabilities, um, and just something that's unique, it would be $80 a month plus whatever additional functionality you want on top of that. So very cool stuff. And so it's kind of running the gamut of from Green Geeks, doing it all by yourself, but it's super easy to do so, to Shopify, which is half DIY, half all in one, or if you just don't want to do anything yourself, Cosmetal. So that's pretty much my overview of websites. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, this is 
again, something that I help people with all the time and trying to figure out what the best website option is for them and guiding them through the process of it. Can it, cause it can be very confusing sometimes. And there's a lot of web designers out there that capitalize on the fact that small businesses don't know a lot about website design. And so they tend to overcharge and they also make you overly reliant on them whenever you need to update anything on the site. And so they almost become a bottleneck for the business growth. And I'm not really here for it. What I want to do is empower you to be able to take charge of your website journey and your website creation so that you know how to access the site, you know how to edit the site. Maybe you don't actually edit it yourself. Maybe you have someone else do it, but you know what's going on. And so you're not completely um, blindsided by things that you don't know or don't understand how they work. So that's my overview of this. If you have any questions, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. So love you all. Take care and have a good one.